Hey streamers, welcome to part 3 of the WP Stream Settings Explanation. In part 1, I discussed general options, in part 2, default channel settings, and in part 3, subscription options. So the first one is use global subscription mode. And if you enable this, uh, once a viewer purchases one subscription on your website, they have access to every single type of video content on your website. So for example, they purchase this, they sign up to this subscription, they have access to all your pay-per-view videos and live streams. So to give you an example, Netflix does that. You purchase a subscription and you have access to all their shows and movies and documentaries. Now let's take it a step further with subscription ID for global subscription mode. So all non-subscription video products that are not already attached will be accessible if they purchase this. So we'll find the subscription ID over here and paste it and save changes. Now that we've done this and saved our changes, what I want to do or what I want to show you is, remember I said that things or video content that isn't attached will be accessible. So let's attach this one to another subscription. So I'll attach it to subscription live update. So this pay-per-view is now attached to subscription live. So pay-per-view is attached to subscription live. Now, if a user, if a viewer purchases the subscription live two, they will have access to pay-per-view two, but they will not have access to pay-per-view one because that is attached to the first subscription. That is it on the different subscription settings and the next video I'll be discussing the customizable messages.